Hey y'all, I'm back with the reviews. Oh, oh that's a bit. Okay, anyway. So this is Married to Medicine, Atlanta, the Atlanta doctors, the Atlanta ones. This episode is called Breaking Out the Bubble. And this is season eight, y'all. I feel this is gone by so fast. Season eight, episode one. So of course the episode starts off that they're talking about the pandemic and how the pandemic hit and it just hit everybody different and the effects that it had on everybody. Um, and because they're doctors, they never stopped working. And then they start playing the audio from the George Floyd murder. And I have, I have still haven't watched that video. So every time like these reality shows gives clips of it, it kind of hits me because I refuse to watch it because I'm an empath and I feel everything and I already had felt all of that. I know I put myself in this, but it's like we're reliving with these reality shows. We are reliving the start of this pandemic and the racial unrest that really came to light um, during this pandemic because nobody had anything else to do but be on the front lines, either trying to help people deal with C-19 or out here protesting so um we had toya they showed a clip of toya with her sons at a protest which is really good atlanta had a lot of protests i actually attended some as well then it jumps to july 2020 so didn't smack in the middle of the summer dr simone in her office you know the girl chair then messed up her wall and she like you're gonna get it together blah 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 so far, it's just like these introduction. Contessa is doing telemedicine at home. Her internet is janky. Toya's with her son. They're on the car, and she's thinking he's being conscious and woke. And he's like, I just want PC, video games, stuff like that. And she just kind of looks at him crazy. And then we have Dr. Damon doing the COVID testing. I actually remember when Dr. Heavenly was posting about this, I was actually going to go, but I didn't. But it was so good that they were in the community doing free COVID testing. Because y'all know in the beginning, they wouldn't let nobody. If you ain't had them coins, you weren't getting tested, okay? So that was really good. So this is where the drama starts to unfold. So at Dr. Damon's event, all the doctors are there. But Dr. Simone did not show. And so Dr heavenly and dr jackie gets us talking and you know bringing up simone and the men are like mm, we don't want to talk about that so they walk away so it's hard to, like are we in high school y'all like my mom and them age like i'm so over this like dr J I'm st dr jackie was wrong last season and if you don't know what happened you can go back and watch last season but i still feel like Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone, they have so much history. But not I'm not, I'm not for one of them people, oh, just because we've been friends this long, we can't because you can outgrow people. I you can outgrow people and people you thought you were close to, you start morphing and getting close to other people because they are where you are in life. It's just those season changes. Sometimes when the seasons change, your friends change. And that's okay. So um we finna go through this whole Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone not being friends. Dr. Jackie says she reached out to Simone, but Simone is very much like me. And it's not a good good thing, but we'll hold a grudge, baby. I will hold a grudge. I don't care who you is, family, friends. If I got a problem with you, I got a problem with you. And you go, no, I got a problem with you. Um, so Simone just basically says that she wants to spend time with her family and her close friends. And then we see her son, Michael. Michael is 18, y'all. Then they do a flashback from 2013, y'all. He has literally grown up in front of us. And Michael has that vibrant personality. And he's, of course, playing basketball. He's gotten a scholarship to go to Lee University. And they just talking about the racial unrest and how he's going to deal with being a racist city, especially being that he, you know, has been in Atlanta and it's, you know, Atlanta is Black Hollywood, so it's a lot of Black success. And so, let's see what we're getting into next. 
I am recording through the ep through the commercial, so I don't have to do that much editing at the end and all that. Okay, this of course this we you know this little yang yang the little first episode we ain't getting into the drama drama yet. Toya's again on the cart with her sons and she's telling them like if they want a big house like this they need to get in the medical field and the little boy's like you're not in the medical field and she said but your dad is baby that son tried to comp tried to come for toy <laughs> baby where's my man in the medical field because this is ghetto and toya's just talking about how they you know moved into this nice community in alpharetta and they were living their best lives and then i'm thinking toya finna give us some tea on why they done put their house on the market and she gonna talk about the pandemic since we want to know why you happened to sell your house well, that's what we thought you was gonna say not everybody had to go in the house everybody life got turned upside down comment down below if you thought toya was about to give us some tea <laughs> we'll get the inside of dr eugene getting home he's sanitizing his car undressing in the garage and we saw like people on social media having to do this and that's that's real life um he just talks about how he's drained by the time he gets home because you know on top of covid you still have all of these other illnesses that people are dealing with on a daily basis and then we jump to dr contessa and dr scott ain't that his name and they both are getting home she gets home first, gets in the shower first thing. Then he gets home, tries to kiss her. It still got COVID all over him. But then he gets in the shower. Um, Dr. Cassessa finally finished her degree. Thank you, Jesus. Because that degree almost cost her her whole marriage because the past, I think two seasons, it's been a struggle with her trying to finish her degree um, with the kids. And baby, who was the nanny they had that one season and they ran, they ran that lady off. We need her back. What was her name? Um, they did get help from Scott's cousins. They're just very holistic and zen, and they're teaching the kids how to meditate, which I think is so good. Like, I wish we had more of that in like the world. Like, I need to get better at meditating, but I think it's such a good skill to have, especially instilling it into the kids. But I did notice something. The kids was very zen until Dr. Contessa walked up. Baby, them kids turned blessed and delivered when she got there. So that, so they know that they can get over on their mama. That's what I'm thinking. Cause they was real cool, calm and collected until she popped up and see them the types, they blessed and delivered. We don't call kids bad, they blessed and delivered. But again, we just see, I totally get the whole, when you're around people, since I'm in the classroom, baby, when I get home, when I hit that front door, my clothes come off and I hop in the shower because I be like, I gotta get out this COVIDness. And that's just cause I'm around kids. So I can only imagine them being like around, like they know those people are sick. Private. Dr. Jackie and Curtis um, talk about that they did finish the house renovations and the house looks amazing like i didn't think that the house was gonna look like that like when they were showing the befores last season all I, I i didn't see the vision but dr jackie had a vision and that house is so cute um and again it's just that reality of going to the store when you get back home just wiping everything down spraying everything down if you got a package you're gonna wipe it down um then they get on a subject of Dr. Heavenly is getting ready to throw Dr. Damon his 50th birthday party. And Jackie is talking about how this will be the first time that she's around Dr. Simone, um, other than them just in passing, saying hi to one another. And Curtis is just basically like being a, a soundboard, like y'all both are stubborn. Y'all, you don't just put it all on her you just speak the same way she speaks you just say hi she just say hi so no one has actually tried to make the situation better or tried to talk about it and i think that sometimes even when there's two stubborn people like somebody has to be the bigger person and i think it's unfortunate that sometimes it's always that one person that's always the bigger person um to try to clear the air and I don't know. I think it will probably be Dr. Jackie um, because Simone is 
very um, stubborn. I think Simone may be a little, I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see how this goes at Dr. Uh, Damon's birthday party. So as I was saying, they are getting ready for Dr. Damon's birthday. All the masks, all the shields. Um, of course, Heavenly, you know, Heavenly loves her man, okay? And I ain't mad at sis. Even Y'all know I can't stand Dr. Heavenly, but I love her at the same time. But sis loves daddy, okay? And she just talks about how her kids love him and they, you know, praise him. But they don't do the same for her. And she talks about, you know, she, they've been married 23 years. And she has a 22-year-old son. And she said, mind your business. Don't be trying to do the math. Period. Okay? Get you some business. Don't all of a sudden become mathematicians. All right, can we talk about the fashions? Um, Dr. Simone, um, Toya, and this new chick, Anila, Nyla, or whatever her name is. I don't know if I like her. I mean, like, to me, it's like they're trying to replace her with Mariah. Like, I, we'll, we'll see. I don't know how I feel about her. But was that, like, the bad dress crew? Like, all of them was dressed horribly. But, we, I mean, what? <laughs> we're moving on. <laughs> they're not going to worry me. They're not going to worry me with this Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone drama this season. Like, this is not what this whole season is going to be about. It's not, I can't, because I have a headache. We, well, they're not going to stress me out with this situation. They started talking about doc, the whole Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone situation and how Heavenly was in the middle. And to me, that pride is a mother. Like, Y'all, instead of, like, handling and solving things, like, pride, y'all will let pride ruin a whole bunch of stuff. And, like, I can't stand people like that. Like, if I rock with you and whatever, like, I'm going to put my pride aside. Like, I'm going to apologize, like, because I'm always going to try to be the bigger person. But at some point, like, you don't always want to be the bigger person. And so, like watching them is really showing me like it's a pride Jackie is telling everybody else how she feels and that she misses Simone but because of her pride she's never gonna tell Simone that and it's like it's gonna piss me off like it's because it's people like that I've encountered people like that like and they they keep talking about oh y'all been friends 23 years I always say I, I said at the beginning of this video time is not a factor you can know somebody two weeks that's more loyal than somebody you've known 23 years and some people again you just outgrow and that season is over it does suck because we did like dr jackie and dr simone together but again they're gonna have to let their pride aside and they really just needs to communicate and i think that's something that needs to happen off camera because again i i don't know it's frustrating, like, because I don't want to see these, this, like, this awkwardness going on. Like, this group having the conversation, this group having the conversation. And I guess, like, like Dr. Contessa said, like, they are the glue that held everybody together. So, um, they're the nucleus of the group. So, it's making things awkward that they're not talking and being friends. Um, Dr. Simone is very territorial, which I totally get. I'm a territorial friend, like. I'm not like, oh, you can't be friends with them or you can't be, because to me, that's high school stuff. But I need to know that you got my back and like, you got me, I got you. Like, don't have me guessing, are you still cool with me? Like, that that's kind of where I stand. Like, you can be friends with people I don't like, but trust me, like, even at our big age, I'm 27, but even at my big age, it's a, if you're friends with them, you can't be friends with me. And like, nobody has time for that bullshit. Like, Grow the fuck up. Okay, so Dr. Hemley and these mermaids is just really not working for me. Um, it's giving me very Clatchet vibes. There's like two mermaids. But it doesn't fit the theme. I don't, I like, I guess they have a seafood. I, I don't know. I'm trying to make it all make sense. Um, I did see the purple and gold, you know, shout out to the Omegas. Um, so they all pull up to the house. Dr. Heavenly is doing temperature checks. I'm so glad Dr. Contessa said this is not a form because I cannot, I could be asymptomatic. I mean, what is it? Yeah, asymptomatic and not showing 
any symptoms and not have a fever and still be sick. Like this whole, let's check your temperature thing drives me up a wall. Like I had the flu last, like I think 29th, whatever. I had the flu once and I didn't have a temperature until like, like way after I had already been sick. So that whole let's check the temperature thing is just not really working for me. And why Contessa had to throw shade? I said, here we go. Contessa gonna say, well, she wouldn't know that because she's a dentist. Y'all yeah, not gonna do Dr. Heavenly like this. <laughs> Y'all yeah, not gonna do Dr. Heavenly like that. Simone pops in, walks in, and of course it's a little awkward. In the way that, I think it's just the way the editing at first, you know, Heavenly spoke and said, thank you for coming, all of that. But then it was just pause. I don't know if it was just the editing probably, I don't know how long the, the pause was before Jackie actually got up and tried to break the ice. But again, I feel like they need to have a conversation off camera because it was just awkward and this party was not the time. So they really didn't get into the conversation because it was awkward on both ends. I love when the men on this show all get together. It's something about them. I actually enjoy their scenes together and they all talk about encounters that they've had with the police, with racial profiling, and just their experience. And like, it's so sad that a lot of our black men and also black women, but a lot of our black men have had to deal with this. Like, I can recall my dad telling me a story about his encounter with cops. And it like make, makes me cringe, like to know what they did to him. So, and my dad is such a lame, still love you father but yeah he's so lame like so for him to like you know have that experience so but i love when all the men get together they were very chill so let's get back to this class your birthday party back on uh, and toya is in there with her crowd bucket going ham like toya and candy birds do not play when it comes to their food toya is drunk y'all know i really love toya last season but i don't know yeah i I like everybody starting this episode. But I didn't even forget that Kawhi went over here to now. I'm, I think Kawhi is coming in as a friend of the show, but I'm squirrel. She's lit and ready to eat. You know how you get drunk. And that food hit different. Food hit different when you're drunk. Especially after you get like past that, like when you're coming down and you're relaxing, that food hit different. Here come Dr. Damon with these shields. Like, what are these shields gonna do? Somebody comment down below. Like, I understand it can kind of block, but air can come all up and through there. So I don't understand why people wear shields and no mask. But you know, they're doctors, not me. Leave it up to Miss Heavenly. You know, again, I love her and I hate her. I think I love her more than I hate her because she's just so real to pop things off. <laughs> you know, to to give us a little, you know, Heavenly gonna always <laughs> pop some stuff off. So she tells Simone, like, I haven't heard from you since New York. Like, I miss you, but I'm not going to keep telling you because, you know, I'm not going to keep being vulnerable. And I understand that. Like, I'm only going to tell you I'm sorry or apologize or reach out to you so many times. So I'm like, fuck you. Because you're not giving what it's supposed to be giving. <laughs> and I feel like you shouldn't have to chase an adult again. That whole pride situation. I can't stand people. They don't know how to let their pride aside. If you want to be mad and just stink, just be that. Like, let me know because I'm a, I'm a fixer. If I do something wrong, like, I want to fix it. But anyway, Toya, again, being drunk, jumps in the conversation and is just like, um, no, Heavenly, you're fake. Like, if you really, like, y'all did all that ganging at the reunion last season, rolling on the floor, saying y'all going to work it out. And, like, if you really want to um, make it work with Simone, you would have reached out. And she's like, no, nah, I'm tired of these, telling people to shut up. Just drunk. Basically calling Heavenly fake and calling Heavenly out. And her little friend, Nyla, Nila, whatever her name is, she I feel like she's going to be, like, a yes person because she was just sitting there kind of, like, a, in the amen corner. Baby, we didn't ask you. We didn't ask you. Go away. But anyway, that was Married to Medicine Season 8, Episode 1. Tell me what y'all think down below. We'll be back for Episode 2, y'all. I'm going to try to make it through a whole... Y'all not. 
I'm trying to be better, y'all. I'm trying to, but y'all gotta watch my videos because I feel like I'm putting in a lot of work and y'all not watching my videos and it hurts my feelings. Then it makes me not want to pose. So y'all gotta watch. Anyway, comment down below. As Funky says, who was in charge of the girls? Comment down below. Who was in charge this episode? Oh, but how, I forgot to put this in here. Dr. Heavenly looking look good, okay? Dr. Heavenly said, y'all now, y'all can call her the big girl. She's still thick. But she looking good, and I'm here for it. Just that we 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 gonna work on them extensions. But like my video, let YouTube know y'all like me, and I'm gonna keep coming. But if not, why am I gonna waste my time? Okay.